Good morning, friends. It's Good Friday of Easter week, and thanks for joining me again one last time at my, my kitchen. Maybe I'll do this tomorrow. It's been kind of fun for me. Um, Good Friday's a tough day, and it's um, raining again here in Southern California, and I'm kind of glad because this is a day that it's just kind of hard for my spirit, really thinking about what Jesus went through for you and for me and the darkness that he experienced. So I think it's appropriate that it's raining and dark out again outside. Um, I was reading in Mark 15 at um, where it says at, at noon when Jesus, he hadn't died yet, but it was at noon when he was on the cross. It went completely black outside. Can you imagine how weird that would have been to be watching this whole thing and then it's noon and it, then it feels like it's midnight outside. It went completely black. And that's because the judgment of God was falling upon Jesus. He was taking on the sins of the whole world. And a perfect and holy God couldn't look at his son anymore because God is holy and he can't look at that stuff. And that's the point where Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And he felt that separation that he'd never, ever felt before. They were, they were one since before the world was. So, um, you know, that's just really hard to think about. But something that really stuck out to me was, was right after that in Mark 15, uh, it says in verse 37, and Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And you know, um, when you study the Old, Old Testament scriptures, uh, I've been in, in the Old Testament quite a bit lately, and you know, the ritual that they had to go through to get to God was really complicated. All those animal sacrifices, and the priests had to go in again and again and again, and and, and these animals would kind of take on the sins of the people, and then they'd sacrifice the animal. When Jesus died, that veil that separated the people from the Holy of Holies, where the presence of God was, Jesus tore it from top to bottom. And I've heard that the veil wasn't just a piece of fabric. It was like layers thick, almost like a door. And Jesus tore it from top to bottom so that we could go in. He was the final sacrifice, the Lamb of God. And I kind of like thinking of it like a door. And now Jesus said, come in. Come on in. You don't have to do that stuff anymore. All you need to do is receive me and ask for forgiveness. And I'm the door to the Father. You know, I like the idea of a door. Uh, right now, during the pandemic, we can't go in each other's houses, which is kind of a bummer, a big bummer. Um, I went on a walk with my friend Jill last week, and her granddaughter, Faith, is one of my favorite little people. And um, Faithy and her mom and dad, they are renting a new house. It's a really cool house. And, and we went by Faithy's house, and Faith said, come inside, and she wanted to show me her new bedroom. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, honey, I can't come in your house. And she was like, she was really sad. And um, when you go in someone's house, it's sort of like you get to know them a little better. You're kind of seeing my messy kitchen. And somebody asked me what this stuff is right here. And it's actually pictures of the children that we that we sponsor. And uh, um, anyway, you're kind of seeing my kitchen and a little bit of me, but I feel like I don't really know someone until I go in their house. And then you're like, oh, I really get you a little bit more. Jesus was saying, come on in. Get to know me. Here's my word. Here's my spirit to help you understand. Come and get to know the Father now. You don't have to go through all that stuff. He's the door. I'm so thankful. Good Friday is a really good day to worship the Lord. And a song popped in my head this morning that is so old. When I was a young worship leader, this song was really popular. It was written by a guy named Graham Kendrick. So those of you young people, you're not going to know this song, but maybe some of you older people. It, it goes like this. Amazing. 
easy love, oh what sacrifice, the Son of God given for me, my debt he pays, and my death he dies, that I might live, that I might live. Because of Jesus and his amazing love, I can live. He took my penalty to the cross and yours. And another one that probably you'll know, oh yeah, I'm going to be on a Zoom call in a little while and worship with some women on online, which is great. We can't be together, but we're together still in his spirit. And we're going to do this song together. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. So cool that Jesus paid a price for you and for me. And that's what we celebrate today on Good Friday. Hope you have a great day wherever you are worshiping the Lord and thanking him for being the door. Love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.